boat projects have become a my thing, not a her thing. And so. I would love to help. I just don't have time. Oh, wow. It's done. Oh my gosh. You need to come with us. That's, that's sure the reality. I need help. <laughs> we all do, well. In one capacity or another. You're going to have to come out once in a while, honey. No, I in a fridge. Oh my gosh! Can 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 this be a toilet? Can we make a toilet right here? <laughs> oh my god! Can a thing become alive? Well, if you have a goal and nurture it with patience, hard work, and determination, then yes, things can come alive. In our case, we really do believe that our boat is alive. I thought it would be nice, and I thought we would like it, but I didn't think we'd like it this much. It's she cares for us, provides us shelter, and keeps us safe. So the other thing we're getting is a. Uh, the life raft, which this vessel, whether it did or did not have, it does not currently have a life raft. As we continue on our journey as cruisers, we feel that it is time to treat friendship like one of the family with a few upgrades. That's like the most extravagant Y valve I've ever seen. Actually it is. <laughs> <laughs> Some needed cleansing and TLC as we prepare for our upcoming Atlantic crossing. Join us as we continue our time on the hard and make friendship better than she was before. Now all I need now is like a light a fixture right here. Exactly. I do. I need you a light fixture need a right light. here with a USB so I can like charge stuff. Thank you so much to our patrons who make these episodes possible. Chronicles from the hard guys. Do we look different? Do we look a little more stressed? We are definitely here longer than we plan to be here. I'm not even going to tell you how long because you might get as depressed as we are, but we are getting things done. There's been some really fun projects like my spice rack over here. There's been some not so fun things like painting the bottom of the boat. And today we're adding two new additional things. One is a convenience thing and the other is a little special surprise for Will. So these projects that offer convenience are great and all, but they're not terribly thrilling. And this one, is oh well, well do you want to tell them what's going on with this one we are we have an issue with us getting to our impeller we have two engines one port one starboard we're a catamaran it's very nice but they're not exactly set up identical the engine on the port side is set pretty far back underneath the bed which means you have room to get all around the engine which is quite nice because when things go wrong you can sort of identify you can get to it and you can have access to it all the way around this engine on the starboard side, it's not it's not that easy. Uh, the, the, the forward part, me, the part where the impeller is, is like right up against this wall right here. And so if we had to have any type of emergency repairs to our impeller or any of these belts right at, at the last second while we're underway, while we're moving. Um, on a swelly, windy, crazy day. There's not a lot of wiggle room in here. So we're trying to create like a little crawl space, like right here. A little trap, it's like a secret trap door. Like, like a little, yeah, like a little <laughs> sort of <laughs> fairy house or something. So our carpenter is coming back. Yes. He's, he's bringing his, his artistry, his magic, and sort of gonna create us something that's gonna hopefully look good and be effective. I feel like this is a home fix it show as opposed to like a boat show. Anyway, I'm really looking forward to that. And we're getting something for our room, Jess. Jess got a spice rack. Will gets a, let's go to the room. Let, let's show it. This is Will's version of a spice rack. He's gonna demonstrate for you We guys. have a little chair here. It's very nice and comforting if you wanna sit down and like entertain guests. Just gonna be sitting here, <laughs> the kids will come in going, mom, dad, I have a problem. <laughs> that never happens. This place just like stores stuff. We normally just have like, the ukulele and other garbage in here. That, so essentially it's a wasted space. Kind of, like. kind of. I mean, it's nice if it's if, if we were clean and we were just two people and we had sort of all the storage just for our stuff, but we don't. So we're gonna, come, we're gonna take this part over. We're gonna sort of reclaim this area as our own. I'm gonna create a desk. I'm gonna have, you're gonna see this, but, but there's gonna be a desk like right here that I could sit and work. Now I feel, it feels like maybe like I'm, I'm gonna be stuck in the dungeon, but when, <laughs> when there's like four of us and we're all like on each other's shoulder to shoulder at the table trying to work i don't i wouldn't mind being solitary confinement for a little while i need i need my space you need a space i, I need my soundproof chamber so after seven years of travel you're getting your own office finally finally i'm getting my own and office. if you get tired you can just take a nap you can almost hear it in this room like the audio is so like crisp because there's padding all around it's almost like its own little like oh, voice yeah. studio you got your own you got your own recording studio. I do. Your own apartment, your own office. It's finally time to create the podcast. Look at, oh, I know. We got to do that. Finally.
So knowing that the desk was only a few hours from being completed, we went over to the workshop to see how the progress was going. It's so satisfying seeing the progress in action. Oh, look at your desk. Oh my God, it's so nice. The carpenter was just about done, but we had one more detail to iron out. How to properly stow it away underway. So what I'm thinking is to put a piece here that comes and closes yep. like this inside. Instead of like this, you don't see nothing. Yeah, I think that, that's perfect. What it's, do you think, Will? I think it's gorgeous. Yeah, I think that's a good way. Because you're right, Splendid. if we're hitting seas that are rough, it's going to be... It's going to be... Yeah. Like the, uh, <laughs> if we go into van life, the desk and the no, spice rack... No, because this one has a soul. <laughs> it does have a soul, you're right. We really do believe boats have a personality and a demeanor all their own. The reason why we bought Friendship is because she was warm, welcoming, and loaded with charm. When doing upgrades to her, we're becoming really particular about the quality of the craftsmanship that goes into the final product. Anything that goes into her will be built to last a lifetime. Maybe we can't do every upgrade all at once, but we will add what we can, when we can, and make her beautiful. If we take care of Friendship, she will take care of us. Oh, wow. It's done. Oh my gosh. You need to come with us. Our daughter's going to university in a year. You can have her cabin. And then it goes like this. Oh, it's beautiful. You see? Do you make many desks? Sorry? Do you make many of these? No, I make a lot of... I make everything. But do you do, you do, do many of these? Many desks? Most people on boats don't want a desk, right? They want tables. I do that. They want tables. Okay, so this they is like do, this is a small table. Kitchen. They do a lot of things. Okay. Everything they want, they just tell me. They imagine, and I do it. <laughs> I love it. That's the way. That's the way it usually goes. Why don't you sit down, Will, and yeah. he'll? Oh my God, he's gonna custom fit it to you. <laughs> Such a look. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. Be. It's a little high. Like this. Like. Um. Do you want your what computer? Is, what does lower look like? Uh, we is just that look okay for you? I think so. Yeah. 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 Is, do you want to try it? No, I will okay. never come in here because I'll get motion sick. But lock. you know what? Well, we should put a lock on the outside of the door. So if we need to lock you in here. No, stop it. <laughs> I bet mean, it could make a really fancy knock on the outside, uh, lock on the outside. For now you. all I need now is like a light a fixture right here. I do. I need you a light don't fixture need right a light. here with a USB so I can like charge stuff. You're gonna have to come out once in a while, honey. No, I in mean, a fridge. <gasps> oh my gosh! Can 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 this be a toilet? Can we make a toilet right here? <laughs> oh my god, he's crazy. Yeah. Even taking pictures of your own masterpiece. <laughs> so I'm gonna trace, cut, and these will come on a on a top which is bigger. Wow! And then there's light. Yeah, there it is. There. Oh, that's pretty thick. Fiber, fiber divinity cell. That's why it was going so soft. Okay, we got it. And we're also getting a brand new washdown pump put in. It's it's very exciting. A lot of upgrades happening here today. Okay, so we're creating the Y valve to create a washdown pump extraordinaire between salt water and fresh water. Yes. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna plug it into this one. That's like the most extravagant Y valve I've ever seen. Actually, it is. <laughs> <laughs> and then the other hose goes and goes into there, like you said. So right here you have, for fresh water intake, going up the other way, you have salt water intake. In the middle, you're mixing the two, which you'd want to do. It's it's quite the nifty s system. Okay, Laura, you ready? Yep. Okay, I'm going to turn on the pump on this end, and you're going to, well, not get me wet. And not spray mom with the camera. Okay, ready? 
Oh, that's cool. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> what? I don't want to get wet, I'm cold. That is so cool. That is really cool. And even though there are jobs to be done on the boat, the kids have projects of their own they want to pursue. In this case, self-defense is something that they both want to get involved in. So we're now heading towards what we call recess time for Avalon. She's been like a thousand percent involved in getting ready for college, meaning essays, Nothing applications, flies. the whole thing. And boat projects have become a my thing, not a her thing. And so- I just don't have time. That's okay. Listen, this is, you'll have your day in the sun on the boat. Yeah. Eventually paybacks are, are sort of something <laughs> I live for. Anyway, um, Avalon is now going towards what we call one of her extracurricular classes, which is going to pay dividends forever and ever and ever if you keep it up. Yeah, we keep it up. She's taking boxing classes, which is going to help her fend away all the bad people because we don't want bad people attacking oh you. Oh my gosh, Dad. <laughs> This is my my sort of boys stay with my my daughter. Oh my god, class. Dad. She's taking boxing classes. She's so excited to get to her class. It's Let's on go. the beach. You're Our the beach. We're late. Let's go. The great part about being here at the boatyard is that the boatyard is literally like three minutes walk to the beach. So this is so nice. Every now and then, Jessica and I will take off and take a little afternoon and check out the nice warm sand. It's actually quite warm here. When you get a southerly like we have right now, uh, the, the winds are sort of, I feel bad for people on anchor, but the waves come back in and it actually gets kind of warm in the water. So this is, this is quite nice. What have you learned so far about boxing? Enough to knock you out. There you go. Probably not, no. Here, take this. Enough to knock Largo out. That's, uh, That's probably true. He takes his boxing next, so I don't know. I'm two weeks ahead of him. Maybe I should. Maybe we should pit you against each other. <laughs> then we'd really see who's the what. I'm thinking today's the day. <laughs> Do a jump course that took, then change direction. Wait. Yep. One, two. Yeah. Three. Then change direction. Drop the hands. Okay. Line up. Off we go. Jab. Cross. Hook. Then we change direction. Drop the hands. Okay. Hands up. Here. So we have jab. Soft on the feet. Don't forget the toes. That twist. To have eyes here. Here. We're here, we're here, here, then we It's amazing how seeing your kids grow up because it feels like yesterday where she was just, I don't know, three, four, five years old, just walking around, wanting me to play Legos with her. And then now she's like giving the power in, in these punches. It's <laughs> jab cross. Jab cross that up. When she said she could take me and then kid, she can take me. Even the worst can sting. I wanna change your thing. Cause without you, everything means nothing. You make me lose my mind like all the time. It still feels right. Wait, so now it's Largo's turn. Yeah. And uh, I think there's gonna be a little battle royale between the two of you, huh? I wish. Hope so. Eventually. Think so? Yeah. Are you kidding me? Are you ready for your, your children to fight with gloves? I'm up next. <laughs> uh, what do you think about boxing? Is it a good stress reliever yeah, for you? Yeah, of course it is. Why is that? Because it relieves stress. Because you get to hit things? No, because that is, it's stress relief. Do you want to box too? <laughs> she can um, use it. <laughs> I don't want to embarrass everyone. Oh. I was yeah. champion boxer of J High School uh -huh. 1988. Were you? Yeah. You would have made the Olympics? Mm. If she hadn't. I made the main Olympics. Her ankle. <laughs> <laughs> I, right. I look I look like a pussy cat, but I can kick some ass. That's right. That's right. Seasickness is the only thing that kicks your ass, huh? Yeah, I mean people think I'm frail because of that seasickness. I could take on a lion. Yeah. yeah. One, two. Yeah, drop the hands. Now this time you hit your hands, you hit it here. Okay? I'm gonna be able to Ready? Over left. Over right. And strike the hands. Again, shut up. Here we go. Tap, 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 tap. Right, here you go. One, two, three, four, five. Pause with pause. Do it again. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. Yeah, it's very nice. Now with the crosses, sorry, with the jabs. 
Now, I know that we have mentioned this ad nauseum at this point, but we are preparing for an Atlantic crossing, and joining us on our crossing is our beloved sailor instructor, Brad. And even though insurance is requiring us to engage a captain, our first and only choice for a companion for our crossing is Brad. We were really lucky that he was passing through at the end of a yacht delivery, so we were able to run into him. Oh, we missed you. How are Welcome you? home. <laughs> How are you? Oh, you look so home different with your clothing off. Oh my God, that was the wrong yeah. thing to say. <laughs> I you feel like good. whenever we see you, you're, we're all bundled up. You do, you look good. You been working out? No. No? <laughs> but then, since he was in town, he agreed to take a look over friendship and walk us through some of the checks to make sure that we we're not just okay for the Atlantic, but also for our upcoming five-day journey to the Canary Islands, which is occurring when we get back in the water. My specialty, French toast casserole for our special guest because he loves this. We have, to, we, have to, we have to entice him to come over and help us with gifts of food. Right, this is my peace warming. Our plan is to show up at his door and say, look what we brought you. Oh, by the way, <laughs> you wanna work with us today? Here comes the hard part. Has anyone ever seen a 51-year-old man scale a fence with a French toast casserole? That's the problem, is a French toast casserole. <laughs> Why, you think you would you scale this otherwise? Yeah, these you are easy to could, get around. If I hold the casserole, you could get over that. Do you want to do it? Well, Here comes someone coming out now. Oh, we're, we're not going to break the law. But I think everyone wants to see you scaling them. Not on camera. <laughs> 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 Are we going to see butt crack if you do that? No, no, just uh, <laughs> uh, We may not be invited back to this marina ever again, if that's the case. Oh, you're right, that's true. I mean, it's not like we're doing it under the cover of darkness. There's all <laughs> kinds of restaurants and, and everyone here to see us. Little pig, little pig, let us in. Either you come willingly. We did bring leverage. We brought French toast casserole. <laughs> <laughs> Food always works. <laughs> How are you this morning? And so it begins. All right, tell me what we're... Oh, there's Brad's feet. <laughs> <laughs> right. So what's going on today? We're taking down all the sails. We're making sure that all of the running rigging is working out fine. We're making sure there's no chafe in the lines. And um, we're just checking out the overall status of our sails. Make sure well, the stitching's okay. It's um, very good to do this because... What you don't want is, if a halyard did break at sea, you need to know how, how to take to it do down. It. Yeah. I want to see what he's saying. He's basically saying, oh. we should have done this already, but we're, we're, we've been kind of busy, so, sorry. What's this that we're talking about? Taking down the sail. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're taking out these little side plates, and then inside is the tracking, which allows the infurling sail to go ahead and sort right. of go up and down. A little bit of slack on the main. A little bit of slack on the main. But only a little bit. Okay. Catch them all. Okay, that's enough. Remember when you didn't know which one was the main? Right, it might be a good idea this, if you can come slide down here moves. now, Will. Yeah, just keep going. There she goes, she's coming down. This is definitely a two person job. For sure. Without question. It's three if someone's filming. It's <laughs> <laughs> this is why we brought Brad, so that we, we would have hired him to go ahead and do the, the recording, the but, but, you know, that wouldn't be authentic. Well, now's a good time to write World Towning on there with a marker. Uh, <laughs> Alright, so what's going on? We oh my god. a seriously chafed main halyard, so that needs replacing. Alright. Um, so but, the idea is at this point that if we would have been on an Atlantic crossing, that thing would have potentially broken whilst we're at sea so you know, all of these things before you do any voyage you need to check the chafe points um, we don't actually need to replace it we could just end for end it um, we'll have to make a splice so as we worked on getting the new splice on the mainsail halyard, then it was time to tackle the head sail and get that one in order as well. I wonder when the last time was these came. Well, we know when the last time the Genoa came down, but I wonder when the last time was the main came down, Will. So the other sail looked good, huh? The sail looks pretty good. All right. And we did just have this one stitched up, so it should be pretty good. Guys, okay. 
right, we just gotta pull that on your end. Yep. It's probably not the best day to do laundry, is it? All right, so this is, so now we have a little bit of, this isn't as bad as the last one though. No, no, but it's, it's, you know, it's certainly well on its way. Right. So we should tie it up beyond this. Yeah, if we just cut it off there. And, and get, we, we have about a meter or two of extra, yeah. so we should be okay. But then we had our final sail to test out, and that's our spinnaker. The sail that we would love to always use, but never had. So now it is finally time. So we're just gonna give it a go. There's not a lot of wind, so this is like a perfect day to try out the spinnaker. You see, at first it was not working right. Okay. Then we had to get it fixed, and then finally the weather never really cooperated. Anyway, now it was time to get it up and see if it finally works. How's it work out today, Margo? I already worked out. So this is just like an extra one. Is making you emotional, Will? That we yeah. still have not got this thing up? Did you tell Brad? I, I've told him that basically the last time we tried to get this thing up was when he was here back in February. Sorry! It's obviously twisting somewhere. It might be a case of unpacking the whole thing. It's not for lack of, but it's not that we were scared to. We just never had the good, the wind for it when we were out. It's, Is it going up fine though with the new? I don't know, we're gonna find out right we're now. We're gonna find out. Oh yeah. my gosh. Are you ready or? No. No? This is a little scary. I, no, I have a feeling that it's already good because the hard part was this getting through. And that was fine? Bucket. Well, now it's it's, it's always yeah. up above. Yeah, outside of it, yeah. So. Right, oh, look at that. Pull it too tight. Well, actually, uh, yeah, pull it tighter. Beautiful. I want it, he's not ready yet, but I want to pull it up. <laughs> <laughs> You're over anxious. I am a little anxious. Right. Okay, just gently hold it there. Very good. Go for it. Woo! Look at her! Look, look how easy it goes up. <gasps> I'm so glad we got a new one. Oh my gosh! Oh, she's beautiful. I hope we use it for three weeks straight. But no matter what, we were able to get friendship looking better than she had in certain areas, better than ever before. You see, the idea of everything that we're doing now, as far as being on the boat, is trying to make things as strong as we can, if not stronger than it was before. That's almost been like our, our mantra ever since we got off the boat, because, listen, there's, there's ocean cruising vessels, and then there's coastal cruising vessels. This boat has always been a coastal cruiser for the longest time. She's a great boat and, and these, these prouts have always been known for, for their strong hulls and for, for their ability to sort of withstand and take a beating. But in terms of like the way it's been set up, the way it's been maintained has always been like, well, if it breaks, we can always find a place to sort of maintain it as we get back to shore or sort of or when we find the guy at the chandlery. This is now like we're, we're, we're trying to kick the tires as much as possible so that if things do go wrong, we can, we don't have to think about what could happen because we've already taken care of it earlier. So let, me, let, me, let me rephrase that. Things won't go wrong because we've taken care of it. She is still dirty as can be and needs new bottom paint, but that will come soon as we will need to splash in just a few days. How ready are you to get back in the water? Well, it's just got under here. Um, <laughs> I'm super happy to get back in the water, and I have to be honest, I really don't like doing this. I think I'm gonna like the painting part, but the sanding part is a real pain in the ass, and I'm being honest. Am I supposed to be more positive? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, this is so fun doing all this boat work. Okay, I love the art of sailing and seeing different things. Don't like this so much, but this is part of, for the course, and it's a lot more fun doing this on houses, I realized, than on boats, but gets us back in the water and that's all that matters all right until next time in a few days back in the water bye guys if brad can do it with his fingers not to say brad you have very sexy fingers <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> she just she just wants to hang out on the paddleboard it's oh, a nice day country. Is, this, is it coming easy or is it coming hard i don't know that's a question nick we want brad hand him over <laughs> Hi Molly!
Yeah. Some of the toughest people have trouble with seasickness. You know that. Mm-hmm. Like lion tamers and snake rustlers. So, so how do you like being beat up by my kids? Alright. Money job. Just calling, spending money for the right reasons. <laughs> was only wasn't it only a hundred euros? Huh? Wasn't it just a hundred euros? No. Oh, I thought it was only a hundred. I thought we were raising our kids to be lovers, not fighters. <laughs> Right? How how much do we love the people at Sobermar? We've had a good experience with everyone, Will. No bad experiences. And, and, and when they say they're going to be there, they're, they're going to be there. And if you know anything about being on a boat and being on a yard and dealing with boat technicians, that is like the hardest thing to deal with.